Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Now it was kind of close between, you know, Virgos dealing with a fire sign and Virgos dealing with an air sign, but you guys just a little bit more. So I am going to timestamp these for you, okay, guys? Now these are general messages, so they may not resonate with everyone. Just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Um, cross watcher, if you are in here, feel free to flip the rolls, okay? So we're going to be starting with Aries. Let's see what the energy is like. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with an Aries? For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here today? Show me. All right, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgo's dealing with an Aries. And going forward. Okay. So the first card coming out, Virgo's, it says sadness. And it is a number five. So there's definitely been some sort of changes here, but it feels like someone here is not happy with the changes, okay? Um... This is making me feel like the Three of Swords, right? Almost like heartbreak, pain, regret kind of an energy, okay? This definitely could be someone who is maybe looking at some sort of old photos because I'm seeing there's like a paint palette in the corner here. Someone could be an artist. Maybe someone who is very good at drawing or something like that. But it just makes me feel like, especially with going forward, we have procrastination, okay? And the procrastination is a number eight, which makes me feel like someone here may be going in circles and it could be in their mind. So why is sadness here, spirit? For Virgo dealing with an Aries. All right, why is sadness here? Show me, thank you. So we have the man coming out. So I could be talking to my feminines, even if I'm talking to my masculines, this man could be a friend, a family member, you know. Um, but we have the man coming out. This could be someone that you are married to with the energy of husband here. But on this card, it also says questioning himself. So someone here, you know, maybe... That this is like an energy of low self-esteem or low confidence. Or like I said, it's an energy of regret. This could be someone who is questioning certain choices they made, right? Certain directions that they took in the past here. And I'm also hearing... I'm hearing something about trying to figure out where it all went wrong. So what is this procrast procrastination? So we have the energy of a child coming out, okay? And the child card does talk about being young, innocent, youthful, playfulness. But it also does talk about new beginnings. Now this definitely could have something to do with a child. But show me more. Virgo's dealing with an Aries spirit. One more. Yeah, I just saw the Eight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Pentacles does also talk about making practical decisions, right? 
Uh, it can talk about wanting to have some sort of a clean slate here. But the Eight of Swords is that energy of someone here is in some sort of a mental prison. Feeling trapped. What is this spirit? Thank you. Let me just put this down. Okay. My sadness here with the man energy. Now I am noticing that the man is a number 28, which could be significant. 82 could also be significant. Someone could have been born in 82. But 28 boils down to a 10. So again, this energy of maybe something being over, completed. So first card coming out is a seven of wands. You have this ten of cups. For some of you, like I said, this could be a family member. This could be someone that you have a family with, okay? It feels like for some of you, there's an Aries masculine here that kind of, it could be a feminine, right? It's a woman in the sadness card. So take it how it resonates, guys. Um, but it feels like this is someone who wants to kind of fight for some sort of family situation. Um, for some of you, this may be a marriage, right? Ten of Cups can definitely represent that as well. Show me more, Spirit. But see, we have the World card at the bottom of the deck with this Knight of Wands with the Five of Swords, okay? So for some of you, this is someone who self-sabotaged this situation. And it could have been because, you know, they're coming out here. Maybe they were non-committal with the Knight of Wands, right? Maybe this is someone who wanted to explore their options. Or maybe you're just simply dealing with someone who was immature and was a player, right? So you may have walked away. This could have definitely been someone who walked away from you in the past, right? Made you feel defeated in some way, shape or form. This is also someone who may be reflecting on, because the, the five of wands energy can talk about someone who, I almost want to say someone who can't communicate properly, okay? But then the five of swords can come across as someone who is almost like a bully, so this would be someone who is good at trying to make you feel intimidated or saying spiteful things and, you know, that kind of energy. But when it comes to real communication, this is someone who probably cannot do that. They couldn't sit down and have a serious conversation with you. Show me more about this. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. What is the sadness energy? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. So <laughs> what is the sadness energy? The four cups. <laughs> okay, so again, this energy of regret, right? Um, this is someone who feels like they missed some sort of opportunity with you here, Virgos, right? But I feel like, again, it's that energy where it's no fault of their own. This is someone who is now in this kind of... Um, I don't kind of want to say that, but I kind of heard this is someone who's sitting in some sort of victim mentality, This is someone who is, they're in some sort of low vibrational energy or they're just very focusing on, you know, the negative things here. I'm hearing wallowing in pity. What's the seven of wands spirit? Seven of wands is seven of cups. Yeah, this is someone who's confused. What's the seven of cups with the seven of wands? Now, with the energy of seven, seven out here, this is someone who would have received some sort of warnings in some shape or form about the things that they were doing. But this could be someone who it feels like who ignored those warnings, right? That five of swords energy kind of gives me this kind of cocky energy about, it's almost like an energy of somebody who feels like they know better. But... The strength card. And what's the strength card? Oh, okay. This could be... Give me one more. What's the seven of cups and the strength card? Because I saw the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. The two of pentacles. Maybe this is someone who is kind of questioning how you are so strong here, Virgos, right? So remember that ten of cups did fall on top of that seven of wands when it came out. This could be someone who, like I said, if you do have a family with them or if you do have children with them, how are you kind of holding everything up on your own? Yeah. 
Now, if this is someone who thought that some way they could kind of strong arm you or um, get you to come back or whatever it is, right? It feels like this is someone who is, they're coming across as a little bit delusional. Or if they thought that they could get you back, maybe that was wishful thinking. What's the Ten of Cups? The Two of Wands. Now, for some of our girls, with that Knight of Wands coming out, okay, if this is someone who put you with this Seven of Cups, if this is someone who was treating you like an option or they, like I said, they were running around and exploring anything with a heartbeat kind of a thing, um, they're wondering, how did you get over that? How did you get over all that betrayal that I tried to put you through? How did you get over that heartache? I'm hearing something about you learned how to transmute the energy. So for some of Virgos, you may have took that hurt and that pain and focused on your finances, your business, your craft, your career, your children, whatever, your home, you. So that energy had to go back somewhere. The wall card. For some of you, this person watches you online, on the internet, or they may see that, like I said, that you may be having some sort of success here. You could definitely be at a distance from this person as well. But if this is someone who's watching you from a distance with the Two of Wands, they, they're seeing that you're happy. What's the Two of Wands of the world? King of Wands. I'm looking at this Two of Wands and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It's kind of making me feel like even if this person had options now, it's almost like this man holding on to that one kind of wand, right? And you see, he has the world in his hand, right? It's almost like, okay, hold on, spirit. <laughs> it's almost like an energy of this person. If they had options, it's almost like, um, you know what, Virgos? I choose you with holding on to that one wand. I want the new beginning with you, Ace of Wands energy. <laughs> for some of you i don't know when i said hold on spirit i just heard for some of you this person this this aries may masturbate to you i don't know neither here nor there i just heard it that's what i heard king of wands energy okay so what is this four of cups yes three of swords I said to you at the beginning, this sadness energy was giving me three of swords energy. Heartbreak. This is someone who is feeling, I don't know if they're kind of feeling like lonely or, but this is definitely an energy of unhappiness. Seven of cups, confusion. Empress at the bottom of the deck. With the page of swords or the five of pentacles, someone who is feeling left out in the cold, wanting to come in and give you an apology. But I don't know with this five of wands here, okay? I don't know if that, like I said, we'll see what comes out here with this child energy. All right, what is the four of cups and the three of swords? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you, spirit. So we have the death card in the reverse. What's the death in the reverse? Three of Cups. I feel like this is just someone who doesn't want this situation to be over. I feel like this is someone who has a fear of you moving forward here. Moving forward maybe to date new people. Maybe getting in a new relationship here with the Three of Cups. This is someone who's just fearful that you're going to move forward without them, Virgos, and that you're going to be happy. And for some of for, for some of you, right, this person, they really have to face the reality that that actually might be true. This is also someone who may be resisting some sort of change. So they may want to come toward you like, you know... Hold on a minute. Okay, sorry, Virgo. 
Uh, I had to pause it. I thought I just, I'm not even 100% sure. I think I just saw a stalk um, fly over. So I feel like we've seen that. And like I've always said, you know, I get a little bit excited when I see the stalks because we don't see them often just flying around. You know, it's not like a pigeon or a magpie or a robin, you know. Um, we've seen that they're definitely, okay, the stalk does talk about new beginnings, okay. But it could definitely also be something here about a child. I just want to get one more card. Okay. But I feel like what I was saying is I feel like this person kind of wants to come towards you almost like, you know, it's like, a, it's like um, how would you say it, being torn between a rock and a hard place. It kind of feels like they want to be with you, but what it takes to be with you, I'm not quite sure that, I'm not quite sure that they can deliver, right, with a death card in the reverse. This is someone who... Or it could be this is someone who is realizing that they continue to kind of like repeat negative patterns or behaviors. And they may be seeing that, you know what, it's actually not getting me anywhere. What is this three of cups with the death in the reverse? The knight of cups. But you see that makes the four of cups energy. This is someone who wants to come towards you. They want things to move on to the next level, right? They could want to come in and propose something here with this Knight of Cups. I'm hearing that for some of you, this Aries kind of wants, it's almost like rewinding time. They want you to go back to feeling about them how you used to. What is this procrastination and the child card? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. What is the energy here? Show me. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Pentacles landing on the Three of Swords. For some of you, this Aries could be single. Um, you have, or you are. Um, we have the King of Swords. See the devil at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords and this hermit and the six of pentacles. There's something here from the past. Something toxic. What's the two of pentacles? Well, we have a king and a queen of swords out here. Someone could be confused about some sort of truth or some, they could be confused about um, something that someone said. It's almost like with that two of pentacles, it's almost like an energy um, of, of uh, somebody trying to figure something out. Now, I'm also getting, okay, give me one more with the queen of swords and the two of pentacles. Hierophant and the king of cups. Someone could be thinking about, um, because the King of Swords, I mean, the Queen of Swords is someone who is very clear, very direct, right? Um, she speaks with conviction. She's truthful. She's the truth. But she's also not afraid to cut people placing things out of their life. What is the Hierophant and the King of Cups? Queen of Pentacles and the Moon card. Give me one more on the Hierophant. The Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person is just holding, but I feel like for some, okay. Now, there could be something here to do with religion, okay, and tradition. But I feel like for some of you, I don't know if this person wants to kind of, like I said, propose something here to you, right? We saw that Knight of Cups before. Or this person may be holding back from telling you that they're married, but they have feelings for you. One for the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. 
page of swords yeah delayed information because this is also now the two of swords energy so someone here is at some sort of crossroads about something but i feel like this is someone who's trying to decide whether they should say something to you or like i said tell you some sort of truth or communicate something to you here but i feel like they may be a little bit afraid of you here virgos with that queen of swords coming out because she's kind of welcoming the conversation you know but she does look a little bit intimidating with that sword straight up like that. She's like, yeah, I'll listen to you. But it's almost like, you know, it's almost like if she hears the, the wrong thing, it would just be like she'll just swing that sword. And when I say swing that sword, it could be how you kind of, you could be very harsh with your words, Virgos. And I feel like especially when someone gets on the wrong side of you, your words may cut deep is what I'm hearing. Okay, well, then don't piss the Virgo off, I guess. <laughs> What's the Seven of Pentacles? What's the Seven of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Ten of Wands coming in the reverse. Landed on that Ten of Cups, okay? What's the Ten of Wands in the reverse? Because this is someone who feels like, it kind of makes me feel like, because the Ten of Wands in the reverse talks about, I guess, somebody kind of feeling stuck. This is also someone, it talks about surmountable problems. It talks about flogging a dead horse. What is the Ten of Wands in the reverse? With the Seven of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Because this could be someone who feels like they invested in the wrong thing. Yeah, you've got the Temperance coming out in the reverse, landing on the man here. So wherever this person is or just in their life in general, it feels like there's an imbalance, right? Two of Pentacles is out here. This is someone who doesn't feel at peace. And I'm not even, okay, spirit. I don't know, this temperance in the reverse is also giving me here with a ten of wands in the reverse. This may be someone who doesn't have any, like, protection, and I mean divine protection. But that's not going to be for everyone. What is this king of swords in the upright? Yeah, because even just talking about divine protection, I looked at the king of swords and the four wands at the bottom of the deck, whereas some of my Virgos, your home is protected, your stability is protected here, your happiness is protected Because like I've always said, I work real close with Archangel Michael. And he don't play. Not from what I've seen. What's this King of Swords? Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Your answers is the angels ain't playing with you. Mm -hmm. King of Swords and Nine of Pentacles energy. This king of wands, should we just leave him out? Like he so desperately wants to be seen. <laughs> oh, tower at the bottom of the deck. Oh, with the queen of cups and a queen of wands. I don't know if this person is stuck with a, a queen of cups energy. Could be a Scorpio with the tower. While you're sitting in this queen of wands energy, confident, receiving some sort of victory, success, the wheel of fortune, the ace of wands, things turning in your favor. You having confidence in yourself? What is this? The Six of Cups. Yeah, your ancestors ain't just protecting you. For some of my Virgos, if you're single mothers, single fathers. Your ancestors ain't just, like they got you and your kids. Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is also like a childlike energy. And you have this child out here. And both of these cards have the word innocence on them. So you are innocent in a certain situation here, Virgos. It's almost like, um, how would you say, almost like you are being, um, is it vindicted or your name is being cleared or people are seeing you for exactly who you are? <laughs> Archangel Michael could be saying, reminds me of the, um, is it the video I did yesterday? What was that called? Oh, it might have been the be aware. When spirit says when hell freezes over. <laughs> it's not funny. 
but you know it's it's sometimes depending on what you've done wrong the lessons are you know they can be real harsh and it feels like for this Aries the lesson is to lose you completely I don't know why spirit is saying to lose you in plain sight so it's almost like losing you but they still can see you they're still going to be able to watch kind of an energy okay spirit <clears throat> what is the energy in love I dare ask what is the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you. So we have stay optimistic about your love life. It says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I don't know if they're the one trying to stay positive here or this is you, right? After all they put you through, um, you are still high vibrational you're still open to love you just want it to be true love right virgos with true love at the bottom of the deck and this is what may be coming towards you mm. so what is stay optimistic optimistic i don't know what is wrong with my tongue today <laughs> tongue tied maybe this aries is tongue tied <laughs> I'm hearing speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> so I don't know. Are you married to this person? Some of you may be going to a wedding. Oh, coming out sideways. Any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage. It says shock. <laughs> it says sudden change. It says shocking news, surprise, epiphany, transformation. This Maybe this Aries is surprised that, like I said, how strong you are, right? How much you're standing your ground. They're confused. What happened to the old Virgo? That's what they want to know. Where's the Virgo that I could walk over? Where's the Virgo that I could control with lust? Incubus and succubus energy, right? That's what happened to the Virgo, the phoenix, a new phase, rekindle, renew growth, changed mind and rises from the ashes. And I'm hearing from out of the darkness into the light. What's the energy in love? Yes, thank you, Spirit. <laughs> you got healthy choices. It says self-love, self-care, being happier, love and light. Yeah. I think spirit is being funny today. <laughs> you have love call. It says expressing love, message of love, thinking of you, informing you. Some of you may hear from this Aries. Give me three more. You have twin flames. This could be a twin flame. It says yin yang balance, union duality, complement. It says polar opposites. Maybe this Aries is in shock to find out that, you know, this connection actually had a purpose. They're playing hit the road, Jack. <laughs> and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Ooh, this Aries must have really messed up. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this Aries must have really messed up. Or they allowed a third party to mess this situation up. It says girl with a snake. It says charmed or used in able boundaries. Yeah, you put up boundaries with this person. You saw right through them here, Virgos. Mm -hmm. And some of you, maybe your heart had to break, right? Or they're trying to heal their heart. What's the energy in love? Thank you, spirit. Yep, I was going to say it. I swear, is it still there? where's that card i was just trying to like let it go <laughs> healing heart it says healing heartbreak toxicity or addiction it says abusive relationship and then boom addiction spirit says no 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 don't just fly past it like that no we gotta speak about it <laughs> okay <laughs> like, it says addiction it says codependent it says obsession restraint possession and control it says an emotional block mm. Okay. Virgo's dealing with an Aries. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy here? Show me. Oh, I 
uh, I'm hearing they want to kiss you. <laughs> oh, you're my pride and joy. But kisses is in the reverse. So, <laughs> And what else is in the reverse? Let's see. Yeah, I just feel like um, you got the Grim Reaper. Like I said, we already have the death card in the reverse out here already. You got Cupid's arrow and you have seductions. Something that they maybe are used to doing to draw you back in. I feel like it's not working here, Virgos. It says in the upright, it says kisses. It says unconditional. It says loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. I don't feel like you feel the same. You have the Grim Reaper. It says the relationship is over. No second chances. It says grow and transform your life. I don't feel like they want to. Now, like I said, they could have been dealing with. Okay, let me know. You have Cupid's arrow. It says, have faith. Love is coming. It says, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. It was in the reverse. And then you have seduction. It says, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference was in the reverse. Now, like I said, for some of you, they could be single. They may have walked away from this third party. You've got the snake energy out here again. It says, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. It's out here twice. So they made a bad choice. <laughs> it says the dragonfly. It says be lighthearted. It says finding out. Things come into light. Adapt. It says change and heal. So again, there may be something here that they want us to tell you. Wow. Listen. Virgos, I don't know who this Aries is or who the third party was. You got the snake out here. The girl with a snake twice with the snake. So, do you know what it, I'm hearing? The snake got snaked. <laughs> like, what is going on? It says, go with snake. It says, empath and narcissist. It says, paradigm. It says, being charmed, used, enable boundaries. And then you have talking. It says, interested, conversing more. It says, awaiting message, arise, text, call, email, and hovering. Spirit, what is this? What does the energy look like going forward for this Aries? <laughs> okay, I don't know what is going to come out. I just heard you really want to know. I mean, yeah, we are. Right? <laughs> What's the energy going forward for this Aries? All right. Thank you, Spirit. So first card coming out, it says, ooh, Divine Masculine in the upright says Yang, Masculine Energy. So, all right. Yeah, it's shocking when I was here and do you really want to know? So maybe it's not like a bad thing. What's the energy like going forward for this Aries? We have, okay, we have Elusive. It says Dishonest, Deception and Trickery. Anytime I get that card, it makes me feel like someone got caught up in their own web, right? We have intuition. It says heart, song, telepathy. It says inner knowing. Clarify these cards. Why is the masculine energy here? We have healing. Shut the front door. <laughs> it says releasing, purifying and cleansing. Well, go, Divine Masculine. Hello. And then you have chemistry. It says attraction, spark, and passion. But why is that with elusive? Oh, dishonesty, deception, and trickery. Uh, we did see that King of Cups come out with... What was it with? I can't remember if it was with the Seven of Swords or whatever. But I don't know if... um. This is an energy where this person is, like I said, kind of holding or being dishonest about how they feel or how attracted they still are to you or how much they still kind of want to be with you and invest in you, how much they think about you. What's intuition? We have hoping. It says expecting, faith, manifesting. Oh, okay. Um, listen, there could be like different energies for different areas. 
okay um or like i said it could have something to do with this third party maybe you're i paused there so let me just re rephrase that maybe this aries okay because i don't want to offend no virgo and say maybe you're masculine and then you lot get in the comments and but that aries ain't my masculine mm -mm. i left him he messed up he missed his opportunity for some of you this this aries could have been under some sort of spell work with the curse at the bottom here Oh, or someone was trying to curse you. Maybe that's what they did in the past. I don't know, Virgos. You got Divine Feminine with um the curse card. So, what is uh, Divine Masculine and Healing? You have Memories. It landed on the Strength card. So, it says Memories, right? But do remember, this person could be struggling with whatever these changes and healing is, right? Because we do have that Death card in the reverse. So it says memories, reminiscing, dwelling, and bittersweet. Okay. What is the elusive with the chemistry? What is this elusive? You have ecstasy, chasing thrills, excitement, and a good time. Oh. For some of you, if there was a third party involved, it could have been based on something physical. It could have been based on some sort of addictions that maybe they both have. But this is someone who is seeing through, it almost makes me want to say seeing through the fog. Yeah, they're playing, I can see clearer now the rain is gone. So this could have been alcohol. Again, this could have been someone who was dealing with a water sign. This could have been someone who was vibrating from a low vibrational emotional space. Look at the bottom of the deck. Apology. Forgiveness. Return. Sorry. What is intuition and hoping? Thank you. Yeah, we have, yeah, emotional storm. Turmoil. Unstable. Unaffected. Bottom of the deck. Hopeless. Sinking despair and falling apart. And you have family. Fertility, parenthood and pregnancy. And chasing. I don't know if they have a child with this other person. They could do because I just parted it on Divine Feminine, which to me is like the Empress energy. Yeah, this person has been, it looks like they've been dealing with like karma and, um, you know, they may have ran into someone from their past life. This Aries could be someone that you have a past life with. Spirit, one card for my Virgos. What's the advice for my Virgos here? Thank you. Yeah, makes sense. So number 32, which boils down to a five, okay? And the sadness is a number five with this man energy. I feel like this masculine is going through some sort of transformation. But I answer card for Virgos. It says, reach out for the power and strength to make changes. It says, enrich your life and become the person you want to be. Maybe you have helped this person somehow to break some sort of chains. Maybe you have broken some sort of generational curses. But there's change happening here. With this Aries. With you, Virgo. With this situation. But you have free will. So guys, give me a second. Let me put the cards away and then we'll do Leo. Okay, Virgos. It's going to be for my Virgos dealing with a Leo. Now, cross watcher, feel free to flip the roles, okay? But Spirit, what do we have? Virgos dealing with a Leo. Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. Right, so the first card coming out oh we have the rising phoenix again the number five 32 and going forward we have the victim consciousness <laughs> okay and that's the number 12 okay number 21 could be significant as well but it boils down to a three i feel like for some of my virgos just with this rising phoenix energy out here some of you are starting to see straight through a leo 
And it kind of makes me feel like it's almost like this energy of catching on to someone's patterns. But let me see. Maybe you feel like, maybe you're, you, I'm also getting this energy here where maybe you're kind of tired of feeling like a victim. Um, and it almost makes me feel like the card should be the other way around because some of you, it's almost like um, with the rising, rising phoenix, it's that energy of, do you know what, sometimes you get to that point where you just had enough. Some of you are getting to that point where you realize that you deserve better. What's this energy? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Now, this victim consciousness card is someone who has a lot of secrets, okay? But they don't just have a lot of secrets. They have a lot of darkness attached to them. In this card, I don't know if, how, if you can really see, but underneath her dress, there's like faces, snakes, and it's all like energies of like spirits. So someone definitely could have like negative um, kind of like spirits attached to them. Or someone could work or dabble in some sort of darkness, like black magic. But let's see what comes out with it. Why is the rising phoenix here? Coming out sideways. Okay, so any card that comes out sideways is a blockage. And it's the book. And this talks about education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery, and secret. I'm also getting this energy here, Virgos, okay? I don't know if someone here was trying to, like, um, project something to you. But it's almost like darkness versus light. And I feel like with the book kind of coming out sideways, I feel like someone didn't, if someone was trying to attack you, they didn't have enough information about you. It's almost that energy of they didn't know who you are. Education, knowledge, research, unknown, mystery and secret. Yeah, you could definitely be a mystery to someone. Maybe some of you, you do some sort of, you know, um, spell work yourself. And I'm not talking about negative spell work. This is also giving me the energy of you being very powerful here. This almost makes me feel like, you know, like... Um, it, when people cast spells or you have your altar or whatever you call it. You may do like some sort of, um, okay, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> the fox. Selfishness, trickery, wrongness, clever, suspicion, caution. So, yeah, we have someone who is dark over here. We have someone who is, is a liar. This is the energy of someone who throws a rock and hides their hand kind of an energy. This is someone who thought that they could get one over on you. And I'm hearing this Leo could be, they could have Leo, sun, moon, or rising in their chart, or even in their north node. This makes me feel like good witch versus bad witch <laughs> kind of an energy. But like I said, I feel like whoever this is on this side, which I'm going to say is you, Virgos, okay? Um, this makes me feel like you move in silence. It's almost like that energy where I did a video the other day and it was kind of making me think of a magician who doesn't talk about his tricks, right? He, he doesn't reveal how he does his tricks. And the darkness will never take out the light. Hate will never overcome love. Evil. What is this? There's someone who's also watching you in secret. And if you are a feminine, it could be another feminine. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. What is the rising phoenix in the book? This is also giving me an energy. I don't know why, okay? But this book is a number 26, which boils down to an 8. And I was seeing the 8 of Wands. This also makes me feel like some sort of a return to sender. Now you have the 4 of Wands coming out sideways. 
show me more i feel like something here was blocked this could be like your, your home protected here someone could have been trying to affect your stability someone could even be trying to affect like if you are in a relationship show me more Virgo's dealing with a Leo. Yeah, seven of wands, protection. You blocked something. Uh, it was coming out in the upright, so I don't know if my finger flipped it. I'm almost tempted to put it in the upright. I feel like my thumb got in the way. It's the magician. But even if I took it sideways, it still doesn't matter, right? Um, again, an energy of something being blocked. There's some sort of spell work energy here. Or someone was trying to block your creativity. Or something that you were trying to manifest. Whatever you do for some of my Virgos, you could be very skilled at it. Maybe you work for yourself. Maybe you provide some sort of service, right? Maybe you do like rituals or something for people. Clarify these cards. Where's the four ones? You have the devil and the five of pentacles. The devil is not welcome here. <laughs> That's why the four ones came out sideways. This could be someone who may be going through some sort of financial struggles or this is someone who is, it may be some sort of a, like a revenge attack, right? Because maybe this is someone, like I said, they may be feeling left out in the cold by you. Or they wanted you left out in the cold. What's the devil? That goes in with a Leo. What's the devil energy? The six of pentacles. Did someone pay someone to do something? Or well, this is someone who may be envious and jealous of some sort of attention that you get. This could be someone who is maybe jealous of the support that maybe you get from the community. Like I said, if you have your own business or something like that. So you must have some sort of platform where this person maybe can watch you. The Six of Pentacles to me is also that energy of giving back. But it can also talk about gifts, you know, donations, charity, that kind of a thing, support. This is someone who sees that I feel like they're a little bit jealous and envious of how kind and giving you are. They're, they're, they're jealous of the power that you hold. I'm hearing possess, the power that you possess, Virgo. What's the seven of wands? The high priestess. The queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. So some of you are very intuitive. Yeah, mystery. High priestess, the book says secrets. And that's what the high priestess is. She holds the book of secrets. So you have a very, very um, strong inner knowing here, Virgos. Some of you may even can like predict the future. And the high priestess with the seven of wands, you work very closely with your spirit guides. And I feel like that <laughs> makes someone mad. What's the seven of wands and the high priestess? Seven of swords landed on the devil. What's the seven of swords? We've got the seven of wands and the seven of swords out here. So seven, seven to be significant. And then we have the four of cups. So this is, <laughs> this is just so. Oh, okay, so, so this is someone who 
either wanted you to miss some sort of opportunity or they're in some sort of regret. Like I said, because you left them out in the cold, because you don't maybe um, mess with this person anymore. you got the seven of swords out here. I don't know if this is someone who tried to say that you are a liar or you're this or you're deceiving people. Um, or this is someone who is regretting deceiving you. I'm hearing probably both. <laughs> so I don't know. Star card as well. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There's a lot of energy going around of people being very hateful of, not necessarily just Virgos, okay? Just people in general that have overcome their BS. I'm also hearing spirits saying it's be also because I feel like these people are also seeing that maybe they're not as important as they thought they were. Oh, confirmation. <laughs> What's the magician? What's the magician? Thank you, spirit. So we have the queen of cups. What's the magician and the queen of cups? Three of Wands. Yeah. You're very intuitive, whoever I'm speaking to. Three of Wands, the Magician and the Queen of Cups. Three of Wands can talk about someone who can see, who has some sort of foresight. It's almost like an energy of being able to see beyond, I'm hearing beyond the veil. This is also someone who sees that you are moving forward in some sort of career business project. So if you are a liar and you are not the truth and you're tricking people or whatever they're saying, how are you moving forward? Someone here is very skilled. Very skilled at manifesting whatever it is that they want here. Very skilled at using their third eye, their intuition. Nine of swords, six of cups, the hermit. For some of you, this could even this could be someone that you have children with, right? But this could even be someone that you have known since childhood. But the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, and the Hermit, and the Eight of Swords, man, someone is super stressed. Super stressed that you're moving forward, that you get divine guidance, but this is also an energy of you being innocent. Authentic. Thank you, Spirit. What is this victim consciousness and this fox? <laughs> oh, you're going to come out on this side, Spirit. Virgo's dealing with a Leo. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, someone who wanted to slow you down, for sure. This is someone who wanted you to struggle financially, or they are. Sun card, Leo energy. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles. The Ten of Swords landed on the High Priestess. What's the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords? I feel like this is a, some sort of curse, right? Um, like I said, I feel like this is someone. Someone may have been doing something like, like they may have had like some sort of routine. So like I said, if this is someone who was casting some sort of spells or projecting energy to you or paying somebody to do it to you, it, it was a regular thing. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, show me more. Page of Pentacles landed on a Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person was invested in taking you down. Mm -hmm. Tower at the bottom of the deck, King of Wands, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords. They could have been paying maybe another Earth sign. Or like I said, this is someone who just wanted to kind of, um, I guess, knock you off your pedestal. But three of pentacles, I feel like someone was paying another person to do something. 
or this is someone who is just seeing that you're so stable and it was unwise to go against you. They would have been better off working with you. This could be someone who's experiencing some sort of tower moments themselves. What's this four of pentacles? Page of wands. This could even have been someone who wanted you to be in that victim energy. And it's almost like with the four of pentacles and the page of wands, it's almost like an energy of they sit back and they wait to see if something has worked. It's just hierophant. Yeah. What's the hierophant first? Because the hierophant is giving me an energy with the page of wands is that when they come and look that you are still full of knowledge here. But give me one on this hierophant. You're still committed to what it is that you're doing. You're still sharing some sort of um, wisdom here. You're still kind of good news to people. But what is this hierophant? What is that? Three of Pentacles. Show me more. And the wheel of fortune in the reverse. Yeah, they could have gone to some sort of institution or, I don't know, maybe this is like a religious person they went to or whatever. Someone who maybe is in some sort of higher up cult or whatever with the hierophant coming out here. Wheel of fortune in the reverse, whatever it is that they did, right? That they definitely, we saw that tower, right? They kind of put themselves in a bad position here. Wheel of fortune in the reverse is about bad luck, bad karma. This is someone who tried to interfere with destiny, it feels like. This is an energy of unwelcome change with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Setbacks, delays. And I'm telling you, for some of you, this is what they wanted for you. So this is what they're going to receive. What's the Sun card? That goes in with a Leo. You have the Temperance coming out here. Nine of Cups and a King of Swords. Man, if, <laughs> if Archangel Michael comes out one more time, some of you really need to do some sort of, I don't know, something to thank him. They come and look. <laughs> Temperance out here, right? Divine intervention. They come and see that you are still happy. You're still receiving your wish fulfillment. You're still balanced. You're still at peace, right? Surrounded. Hmm. And I'm hearing surrounded by God's light. So, okay. What is the energy in love? Because. <laughs> what is the energy in love? Actually, before that, I'm actually going to get, hold on, one second. All right. All right, Spirit, just tell me a little bit more about this Leo energy, about this energy working against my Virgos. Tell me a little bit more about this Magician and Seven of Swords. It says rejected, yeah. Someone who feels left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Someone who's mad. This could be someone who has a bad reputation. Show me more. It says a grudge holder. You have crying over you. Sad, hurt, upset, etc. It says jackpot, it says winning, it says money, it says got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. You see, with the rejected, this is someone who wanted you to miss out on some sort of finances here, or this is someone who is mad, maybe you was helping them out financially. Maybe you're just financially stable. Yeah, we have a spiritual hater, it says hates on your spirituality, light, magic and power. With grudge holders, so this is someone who probably wishes they had the gifts that you have. 
Yeah. Here you have haunted. It says memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. <laughs> and then you have Marion for money. So you could be dealing with a gold digger. And then you have romantic love affair. It says sex fix. It says secret lover. So is this someone who's mad? They feel like you might have someone else. Maybe you do have someone else. It's almost like their worst nightmare. <laughs> One more. Worst nightmare that you're going to... Yeah, look at this. Coming out sideways. I could be talking to a masculine. It doesn't have to be, right? you got boss daddy coming out, came out sideways. It's someone who was trying to block you. And it feels like because maybe they wanted to hold on to you and your money. It says stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big dick, big dick energy. Now, even if it is my feminines, right? Because we do have a feminine on this Rising Phoenix card. With this boss daddy energy, it could just be, like I said, maybe you own your own business. Maybe it's going really well, right? Maybe you, you're a CEO. Or maybe you're just financially stable. Maybe there is some sort of finances or inheritance that is coming towards you. But whoever this is, they're just jealous because I feel like they just want to be like you. But okay, what's the energy in love? Virgo's dealing with a Leo. I don't know, maybe this Leah watches my channel. I just heard temperatures rising, okay? <laughs> okay? I don't know. Ooh, came out in the reverse. What's the energy of love? So it is in the reverse. It says worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life, but I don't know, maybe it's not. Let's see what else comes out. What is the energy in love? So we have love call. It says expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, informing you. Someone's calling another person and I don't know if someone has this person blocked or someone's changed their number, but it's almost like I'm hearing that um, tone. Do, do, do. So you have the runner. It says fear of intimacy, running away, intensity, letting go, turmoil and fleeting. You have not enough. It says lacking confidence. It's not a Leo lacking confidence. It says, lacking confidence, self-sabotage. It says, ego, fear, frustrations. Clarify these three cards. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. So you have, not today. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone is not answering someone's cause or they're ignoring someone. It says, not today. It says, boundaries and hurt. It says, avoiding conversation, not dealing, still upset. Came out sideways it says go with a snake it says charmed or used in able boundaries so someone here is a liar yeah well we see that here right with the fox okay and then we have with not enough it says the butterfly it says evolving and growth the next phase it says healing inner child releasing the past this is someone who needs to let go of the past here right Again, this energy of victim consciousness because of this, because of that. Well, my whole world is crashing and da-da-da-da, right? It feels like crybaby energy. Um, but this is someone who needs to heal. Yeah. They need to heal. They need to move on. They need to let something go. All right. What's the energy in love? Thank you, Spirit. So we have cassette. It says, yeah, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in head, over in your head, their head. We have the axe. It says breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Maybe this is someone who has abandonment issues, right? Maybe they haven't gotten over someone abandoning them in the past, right? Maybe they haven't gotten over a breakup here. But taking it out on someone else is not the way and especially not in this way you have passion it says insane chemistry like each other equally having fun yeah especially if they're kind of still watching someone who left them be with another person 
we have coffin. It says endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Right. This is someone who needs to heal and grow. They need to move forward and understand that, you know, maybe something ended because it wasn't for them. And if they don't heal and grow and kind of brush themselves off and look forward, how do they know what's what's waiting to come in for them? Okay, that's enough helping them. Show me more about this, Leo. Thank you, Spirit. Show me more about this Leo's energy going forward. So we have influences. It says attachments, third parties and peers. And that kind of makes me think of the number eight here, right? This person going round and round in some sort of karmic cycle or some sort of loop here. Just not letting something go. Show me more about the Leo's energy going forward. You have longing. It says craving, aching, wanting. You have intimacy. It says bonding, sensual and confiding. So maybe this is someone who's just stuck on like the sexual energy they had with someone. That's not good. <laughs> you have shocking. It says turmoil, trouble, unexpected. You have perspective. It says better off, happiness, clear head. Yeah, exactly. It's almost like whoever this is, they cannot see that. Do you know what? You're actually better off with whatever it is that you are still holding on to, right? Devil energy out here. Yeah, I really feel like someone is being left out in a corner. Someone could be going towards, you know, a divine union with the four of wands. Or like I said, you could be married. You Maybe you was married to this person. Maybe you live with them here. I'm also hearing that maybe you went out a lot in public with this person. So this could be like partying or, you know, gathering with friends or whatever, family functions. It's almost like they're just holding on to a hell of a lot. They need to change their perspective here. One more. Okay, past life tried to fall out. It says deja vu, repeated patterns, karmic lessons. They don't, okay, they're not learning something here. Mm -mm. It feels like they're, they're repeating something. Or they, I don't know, whatever. What is the card for my Virgos? How about that? What do we have for Virgo? So the card coming out, it says the world. It says, be, yeah, I don't know, Virgos. Maybe this is a card for the Leo. I don't know. Maybe you have Leo on your chart. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> it says, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Exactly. When one cycle closes, there is another door that is waiting to be opened. But I understand that, you know, for some people, they get caught up in their emotions and feelings and lust and Things like that, it's, it's, it's easier said than done for some people to just break away, walk away, let it go. So let us move on to sad. Give me a second. Let me put the cards away. Okay, Virgo is dealing with a Sagittarius cross watcher. If you are in here, feel free to flip the roles, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for my Virgos that are dealing with a Sag? My Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Someone's name could be Mini. Um, give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Someone could have like a black cat, but it I'm seeing specifically a black cat with like an orange collar around its neck. Virgos dealing with a Sag. Thank you, Spirit. What does the energy show me? No energy. Oh, wow. 
Virgo's dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. I'm going to get a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you. Thank you. And we get one for going forward. Thank you. Got self-love at the bottom of the deck here, Virgos. So the first card coming out, it says temptation. So are you in separation from this person, but are you thinking about them sexually? Or are they thinking about you sexually? Let's see what comes out with this temptation. Someone could be having trouble sleeping. Now going forward, we do have the energy of healing. And it is a number 21, okay? Maybe someone is getting some sort of healing work done because this woman's got two candles here and then she's got a candle here. But again, it can sometimes maybe make me think about someone who is maybe up all night. This one looks like she's been crying. What's happening? The temptation is a number 19, which boils down to a 10. Someone could be upset with someone um, because of, it feels like, um, how do you say it? Is it like emotionally cheating? So they may not actually be doing or didn't do anything physically, but maybe someone caught somebody looking at some pictures or caught someone on like a porn site or something like that. But let's see. Where goes dealing with the Sag? What is temptation? Okay. And what is healing? We've got the mountain at the bottom of the deck, which talks about obstacles here and delays, okay? Or a certain situation may be very challenging at this time, right? And it could also talk about, you know, maybe someone here is being a bit stubborn, right? I'm hearing strong-headed, okay? <laughs> maybe someone's even locked somebody out of the house. <laughs> okay. So what is going forward? We have the whip. And it says conflict, debate, hard work, abuse, pain, physical activity. So for some of you, it feels kind of to me like there is a certain situation here with a Sagittarius that can be healed, right? But it's going to take the hard work here. Now, with the temptation, you do have the ring and that talks about commitment, promise, partnership, deal, contract and cycle. See, it's almost like someone here may be very upset because this could be a marriage, right? Or maybe you just thought that this connection was like super strong, like you really trusted the Sagittarius and, you know, they may have let you down somehow. What is this? What is the temptation in the ring? Virgo's dealing with a Sag. Thank you, Spirit. So we have a King of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Someone could be trying to figure out, you know, how they feel about... Maybe this is someone who has options. Like I said, maybe this is someone who is in some sort of relationship, commitment with someone, right... But they may be kind of tempted by another energy. Show me more. Yeah, two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Talks about somebody being at a crossroads here. The emperor, eight of wands. Show me more. You have the seven of wands coming out here. It's almost like for some of you, I feel like this Sagittarius may want to kind of like defend themselves here. But clarify, what is the King of Cups? The Five of Wands. What's the King of Cups and the Five of Wands? And the Four card. Someone may have done something foolish. They may have taken some sort of leap of faith here. Um, 
in a certain situation, I'm I'm hearing I'm actually hearing only fools rush in. So again, I don't know if this is about somebody wanting to go in a new direction. I don't know if this is about somebody kind of just wanting to be free to kind of figure themselves out here. But sometimes a fool can be seen as someone who is a lack of commitment, which is interesting with the ring out here. I feel like someone stepped out of line somehow, some way. And it's caused some sort of conflict, some sort of drama and arguments here. The five of wands can talk about too many people being involved in a situation. What is the Ace of Swords? We have the Judgment. Show me more Ace of Swords and the Judgment. The World Card and the Star Card. Yeah, this is definitely energy where this person wants your forgiveness. They want to heal this situation here. They, they want this to kind of work out. They want it to be successful. I feel like we got this energy the other day. Um, um, Virgo's dealing with a Sag, right? Where this is someone who had to learn some sort of lessons, but the harsh way. They had to almost like... For you to kind of walk away from them, to shut them off, um, you know, that kind of energy to break up with them, whatever. It almost feels like they had to be put in their feelings here before they learned some sort of lesson. Judgment talks about reconciliation. This is someone who could have definitely, you know, had their eyes opened to where they went wrong kind of a thing. And it feels like they want to come in and fight for this. What's the seven of wands? You have the knight of swords. And we have the two of cups. Yeah, they want to fight for this. This is someone who wants to come out of the cold. But I do feel like for some of you, this conversation or they may feel like it's challenging to con um, to have this conversation with you here. They may have um, they may want to explain to you that, you know, they just did something too quick. Full card. Or because of temptation. What's the Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords? The Four of Swords. Yeah, they want to heal this situation. They just don't know how with the Two of Pentacles. They're trying to find a way to bring balance back to this. This is someone, you know, like I said, you know, like I said, someone could maybe not be sleeping at night time. I feel like this person isn't kind of, they don't feel like well rested here. What is this healing and the whip? Show me more. What is the healing and the whip? Nine of swords. Anxiety, stress, worry. This is someone who wants to come toward you here and they want to say to you, do you know what? Hey, listen, don't give up on this situation, right? Have patience with me. But I don't mean have patience with them in the fact that, oh, you know, just you're letting them get away with murder and just sitting around waiting for them to change. No. I feel like this person is saying, hey, listen, I'm ready to kind of be responsible here. I am loyal to you. I made a mistake here for some of you. Yeah. I allowed my kind of um, emotions or whatever temporary feelings to get in the way of something. But this is someone I feel like who is willing to work on it. But show me more. Page of Wands. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. Give me one for this Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. And the Chariot and the Nine of Swords. I mean the Eight of Swords, sorry.
So definitely they're in their head, okay? But they want to come towards you, but they want to have some sort of victory. I don't feel like this person wants to fight. What is this Ace of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles? Okay. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. What is this that fell out? Heavy Pisces energy coming out here. Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. They may want to gift you something. Or this is someone who, oh, Virgos, for some of you, you may not even know about this, whatever went wrong here, okay? that I don't know if this is an energy of this um, Sagittarius being in their head about, like I said, they don't want to argue with you if they come towards you. Or for some of you, I don't know if you don't know about this yet. And this is a Sagittarius where they're kind of worried, but they want to tell you the truth here. High Priestess. What is the Eight of Swords? The Five of Swords. Yes, yeah, something was an unwise choice. It landed on the Ace of Swords. This is someone who realizes what they did. Okay, but they want to move to calmer waters. What is the Nine of Swords? Damn, the devil. What's the Nine of Swords and the devil? This Queen of Cups is trying to come out again. The High Priestess. What is somebody worried about? What is what is the high priestess with the queen of cups? <laughs> Four of swords. Eight of wands. Okay, so there's the communication. The three of pentacles, third party situation. King of pentacles when someone was meant, with the four of wands when someone was meant to be being loyal to you. This could even be this person wanted to, wanting to offer to marry you. Um, Hemi, offer to marry you. Wanting to propose to you with this ring out here. But they could be almost scared. Shitless. The sun card. Yeah, there's also someone here worried about something being exposed. They're worried that something here is going to cause conflict. Or it has. What's the page of one so I can move on to see what love is saying? You have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone wants forever with somebody. And then you have the Five of Cups landing on the Five of Wands. But have they messed this situation up? Crying over spilt milk. Oh, dear. So what's the energy in love, spirit? Virgo's dealing with a Sag. So we have... <laughs> We have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy. Okay. What is this? Oh, coming out almost in the reverse. Okay. So it's the snake. It says competition and enemy. The other woman look over your shoulder. You have hammer. It says sabotage and rebuild. It says persistent working on it and repairing i'm telling you look even this person is repairing like a shine in a ring what is this you have the butterfly it says evolving and growth next phase healing in a child it says release in the past yeah show me more we have soulmates it says soul connection partnership soul contract life partner with the snake so maybe somebody bumped into a karmic. What's the hammer? We have, yeah, look at that, twin flames. So you, this Sagittarius could be your twin flame. And maybe, you know, like I said, they, they got 
roped in, tempted by a karmic here. It says twin flames, yin yang balance, union duality, complementing. It says complement, it says polar opposites. What's the butterfly? Yeah, ascending. Ah, some of my Virgos, I feel like, I mean, you have free will. Look at that wedding rings at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, you know, listen, you have free will. But for some of you, I feel like this is going to be worth saving. It says learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. With the butterfly, I feel like someone here has learned some sort of lesson. Ace of Swords, Judgment and the Star Card. They know that they just acted off some sort of, I don't know, whatever they acted off of. Yeah, look at that karmic relationship. Where goes dealing with a Sag? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So you have keys on a ring look at this <laughs> it says many options decision unconventional string along one night stand you have love it says unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection attraction look at that you see the difference something was just lost compared to something that is love you have the dragonfly and we have the butterfly out here. Someone could have like a butterfly tattoo or even a dragonfly tattoo. Something with wings. <laughs> it says be lighthearted. It says find... Oh, Virgos. It says be lighthearted. It says finding out things come into light. Adapt, change, heal. Makes me want to say that, you know, mistakes happen, but I don't really believe in mistakes. You know? You have addiction. It says codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So I don't know who that is. I don't know if that is this third party. You have mask. It says not showing true feelings, hide. It says pretend, delude, gaslighting. And then you have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting again, perception, focusing out. See, maybe this is a third party that was really trying to keep you apart from your person. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you and this Sagittarius, you're stronger than that. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're stronger than this third party. But again, not everybody, if someone steps out of a relationship, not everybody can kind of forgive and let that go and kind of just move on, you know. Sometimes once the damage is done, it's done. Once the trust is broken, it's broken. So, show me more about this Sagittarius energy going forward. Yeah, we have bluff. It says pretending, mask and exaggeration. You have conflict. It says clashing, differences, incompatibility. I'm seeing soulmates out here again. It says deep love, unity and connection. We have healing. It says releasing, purifying and cleansing. It says boundaries. It says no. It says drawing the line. It says enough. Yep, there we go. You have influences. It says attachments, third parties and peers. Some of you, they were dealing with a karmic soulmate. It's landed on soulmate again. You've got soulmate with a snake up there. One card for my Virgos. How do you want to end this reading? Thank you, Spirit. Virgos dealing with a Sag. What's the message for Virgo? Thank you. So coming out, Virgos, we have unicorn and it's a number 33 and that boils down to a six which makes me think about success and victory okay again the six of swords it can talk it talks about moving to calmer waters moving away from the five of swords energy here you know uh, i feel like like i said for some of you i feel like you can get past this 
but it says success, hope, freedom, healing, we have that out here, and magic are all available to you if you just believe. So, I guess you guys have a choice to make there when it comes to a Sagittarius. But for me, it feels like, okay, let me know. Virgos, <laughs> that is what I have, okay? Um, if anything in the reading did resonate with you, I do answer that you hit the thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, guys, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.